Hello, my name's Stuart Parker and welcome to Parker Furniture Workshops. I've been a joiner cabinet maker for over 25 years and I hope this video helps with your DIY project. It comes in various sizes and models. As you can see here, I've got a plate on it. This can be removed, but I prefer it because I use this on my tabletops and it stops me divoting the piece. That, that frame basically stops the machine taking gouges out of the timber. This will arrange and take out a large amount of stock. I can put different abrasive belts in it, anything from a 500 grit right down to an 80. The lower the number, the higher the grit. So an 80 grit is quite abrasive and will take out a lot of timber. The thing to remember with this machine is don't go across the grain because you'll end up with a number of scratches that you can't remove, particularly in fine carpentry. This is the one that most people would use, an orbital random sander. This just takes a normal sand and abrasive, simply just clips in the bottom. Again, there are many of these on the market. This is a similar one with discs on the bottom, but this one here is a particular favourite of ours in the shop. It's a finishing sander. Again, we can go up to a thousand grit in that, so we use this all the time in the shop here with our fine carpentry. The one, if I was going to buy one for the householder, would probably be something arranged these two. Great for the DIY enthusiasts. This one here is very expensive, although my favourite. Okay, so now to this one at the front here. It's exactly the same as this budget model here, but a bit more expensive. It has a number of settings on the front, so you can dictate the ratio of the disc on the bottom. Disc, again, can take this disc at the back, and it's very handy around here in the shop. I can also pl plug in an extractor on the back here to take out the dust. Although with this form of disc, it doesn't always take all of the dust, it only takes a majority of it through the holes here. A very handy sander. Now I'm just going to tell you a bit about the abrasives. Depending on which sander you're using, this one here is a belt sander, as you can see it has a belt system, and once again it comes in various grips. This is just a standard paper which will fit in this machine, and these two machines here have what they call a disc, which is basically a round disc with a velcro back that just sticks on the bottom of the sander. This handy belt here, a disc rather, is the new one on the market. As you can see it's a net effect which takes out all the dust in the environment. There's no dust at all comes out of this, or if it is, it's very minimal. This one here is particularly good for this sander here. As you would say, then you get a lot of dust, no, ma no matter how good your extraction kits are, and I really would advise you, you wear a dust mask, either one like this, which you can buy anywhere from your main dealers, or invest in a decent one, which we use here all the time in the shop. Just simply a mask on the back with a filter in the front. But if you set on a budget, these are better than nothing. 